I'm Danny702 and welcome to Las Vegas. Even though it doesn't really feel like it here in Las Vegas, fall has officially arrived, which also means that the spooky season has begun. I have spent the last couple of spooky seasons living in Orlando, Florida, where it starts basically mid-August. But here in Vegas, we get a little bit of a later start. In today's video, I'm going to show you some of the Halloween and fall events that we have here in the City of Life. It does seem as though most of the Halloween events happen the weekend of Halloween with a ton of club costume parties to choose from and even a Halloween parade in downtown. But I'm going to show you some of my favorite fall and spooky events that happen here in Vegas throughout the month of October. From the best of the fall displays, drinks, food, and even a haunted attraction, get ready with me for Halloween in Las Vegas. A new season also means a new display here at the Bellagio Gardens. And I had to take a quick trip to check out this year's Artfully Autumn display. Always free to the public and a top must do when in town, the display transformed a 15,000 square foot space with new sights, sounds, and smells each season and even a fifth for the Lunar New Year. This is a really great spot to get you into the fall mood, making me want to grab a pumpkin spice latte. You can smell the cinnamon and the orange scents in the air and all the rich colors are just so cozy. The current installation represents fall-inspired art and architecture and reimagines seasonal designs. I just read a sign that says that each season brings a new design, a new concept, but also challenges. And in order to create the waterfall and have it fall into the middle or the bottom of the floor, they had to remove a portion of the bottom level. This display is open until mid-November, when it will then change into the winter and holiday display, which is my personal favorite time for the Bellagio Gardens. And you know we will be back. We will be back for the holiday display. But let's head on to the next spot. Located within the Sand Dollar Lounge on Spring Mountain Road, just about a mile from the Las Vegas Strip, is a Halloween-themed pop-up bar in its third year at the Sand Dollar. During the month of October, the bar transforms into Nightmare on Spring Mountain, a fully immersive, haunting Halloween experience with specialty drinks, live music, and even themed costume nights. I read that they have over $10,000 worth of Halloween decor and lighting, and as you can see, they go all out. It is so fantastic. Oh, it just started moving. Okay, <laughs> oh, that scared me just a bit. Santa? The drinks are based on certain songs and they are served in these festive glasses. Then on Sundays and Wednesday nights, they will have costume nights with themes like zombie nights, clowns, 70s, and a risque adult costume night, and even a Disney night. I mean, hey, that's totally my jam. You can visit the whole month of October and on most nights they are open from 4 p.m. to 4 a.m. Speaking of stirring something up, we're definitely going to grab one of those specialty drinks. Like, I bet the weekend nights and the later in the night, it is a pax in here, especially with the live band going. This is a really, really cool bar. Right? I didn't realize that you can also order pizza here. There is a full bar, but here are the Nightmare on Spring Mountain cocktails. Kind of got my eye on this witchy woman kettle one with grapefruit, rose vodka, and then wickedly smooth mimosa gone bad. All right, so I did ask for a recommendation on my drink and I'm going with the I'm Your Boogeyman. It's a pumpkin infused whiskey with basic biatch spiked latte. I think it came in this like tiki looking Halloween mug and look at the umbrella on top. It's a pumpkin umbrella. Okay, definitely can taste the latte over the pumpkin flavor, but I do have like a little bit of a pumpkin spice in there. This is really, really good. Definitely a, a drink that I probably wouldn't have ordered without him suggesting it. And I did mention earlier how I kind of wanted a pumpkin spice latte after seeing that display. An adult pumpkin spice latte, even better, because we're in Vegas. I just noticed the draft menu on here. We've got the Atomic Pumpkin Ale, a Cauldron Girl, which is a mango Hefeweizen. Uh, let's see, what else do we got up there? This one over here, Don't Be a Creep, and it's free. I'm pretty sure there's a Grogu underneath that mask. I just noticed that they have the stage for the live bands and they have a DJ booth set up. 
I'm definitely digging this bar and I'm absolutely going to come back here on a busier night, like maybe a weekend night, Friday night, especially when they have live music. It'd be really fun to do one of those costume things. Like we are on to the next stop, something that I look forward to every October here in Las Vegas. Tonight we are at Hofbrauhaus House Las Vegas. Germany's oldest bar hall and restaurant is right here in Las Vegas, where you can experience authentic Bavarian food and beer with live entertainment. Hofbräuhaus House Las Vegas is open year round, but this is a must stop for Oktoberfest, which starts early September and runs through October 31st. I have always wanted to attend Oktoberfest in Deutschland, but this might be the closest we can get without leaving Las Vegas. On weekends, they bring a local celebrity keg tapper, and you can expect just a really fun atmosphere here. And of course, my favorite part being that I have German roots is the food. And don't forget the beer. We are seated in the hall and it is family style and I know that this is going to get pretty crazy. We have been here a couple of times before. This is such a fantastic spot. It looks like the band is setting up. We're here a little bit early so that's why it's not as crowded right now. And we ordered the Oktoberfest brew, a seasonal brew. We both got them in a half stein. And then I got what's called the Rattler which is basically a mix of beer and I believe Sprite, either Sprite or Lemonade, one or the other. So, cross friends. Oh yeah, that's a perfect balance. And once in a while, you'll catch a random person getting spanked off to the side of us. Take a shot, get a swat. So if you buy a shot, you become part of the spanking tradition. This area here is the beer garden, so it's gonna be a little bit more quiet than the actual beer hall. I really, really enjoy being in the beer hall for Oktoberfest though. I love how the beer garden looks like we are outside now. I ordered the Nürnberger, which is a three roasted pork sausages served with an imported sauerkraut and mashed potatoes. And we also got the Weisselwurst, which is two of Munich's famous white sausage, veal and pork, but we got it grilled. And then it also comes with a fresh baked original pretzel and sweet onion mustard imported from Munich. Right, it sounds like the band is about to start getting a little bit of the sausage, a little bit of this mashed potatoes. <laughs> oh my god, this is delicious! and order dessert we got the famous black forest chocolate cake and look how amazing this looks oh. you're not a chocolate person right Las Vegas you'll find a handful of haunted attractions during October, but today I get to show you one of them which is located at Opportunity Village. Opportunity Village is a nonprofit serving adults in Southern Nevada with intellectual and related disabilities. There are actually two Halloween events here and all of the proceeds support the programs and the services provided by Opportunity Village. Right, guys, tonight we are here at Las Vegas Fright Nights. We're actually here for opening night, but Fright Night has three haunted mazes or haunted houses that we are able to walk through. Special thanks to Vegas Fright Nights for inviting us out so we can show you guys exactly what to expect when you head inside. I'm a little nervous. I'm really scared of stuff like this and uh, I might be here by myself. 
It costs $25, which will give you access to each maze one time. And you can also purchase a fast pass at an additional cost to get to the front of the line. Also, before walking into the houses, I thankfully ran into a familiar face because I thought I was going to have to do these houses completely on my own. But Jacob from Jacob's Life in Vegas was also here. And I finally met him. Yeah, we meet, we meet here of all places. I know! Sure she comes out alive, okay. don't worry. Okay, thankfully I've got someone with me. The first haunted house we're going through is Clown Invasion 3D, and I was so scared. I do not like clowns. They completely freak me out. And already walking into it, I knew that it was gonna be super interactive. Jack and Jill! <laughs> oh my god! We'll take your soul! Oh down. no! <laughs> <laughs> As you embark on a journey of giggles and gore, this 3D experience promises to show you a whole new dimension of evil. The clowns you encounter here are lurking throughout the chaotic maze and the demented ball pits. I'm telling you, this one was so interactive that it probably scared me even more because I was distracted as I was going through the maze. And of course, they come out and jump scare you at the best points. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> All right, I'm jumping in. <laughs> you have got to be kidding me. It's like sinking. <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Hello? Oh god, what is that? Oh, what the heck is <laughs> No! Whoa! Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> The second house was my absolute favorite. The theme in here was just so amazing. Nightmare Manor is the place where evil resides. And lucky for us, this Victorian home happens to have vacancy. You walk up and you have to ring the doorbell and then you enter just this spooky, spooky home. Do you remember playing with the Ouija board or doing that Bloody Mary thing in the bathroom mirror? Well, the time has come for us when the Dominic spirits have been pacing these haunted halls eagerly awaiting our arrival. This one literally felt like I was walking into a haunted manor. It was just so insanely themed out so well. You can tell that a lot of love went into the decorations and the spooky jump scares in this home. It scares me even when I know that it's coming. Shoot. What is this hallway? <laughs> hallway of darkness. I was gonna say hallway of death. <laughs> just a baby, just a baby sleeping. I don't know what that is, but I don't I don't want any of it. <laughs> oh Jesus! <laughs> oh my goodness! Hello! Oh god, I'm gonna keep walking by. There's like doll parts everywhere. The last house was Whisper Bayou, and this is a brand new attraction. The shack has an ancient voodoo curse, evil enough that once you go inside, you will get stuck in the ever-changing labyrinth. Making your way through the confusing halls and wade through the swamp, you must try to find your way through the mist and back home. This one was a literal maze. It was so confusing and spooky. Once you thought you were making your way out of the maze, you all of a sudden ended up back at the same place where you started. It was oh, wait, didn't we just go this way? Oh no.
come out there. Oh my god. Are you kidding? That's exactly what I was thinking. Oh my god. All right, this one is way confusing. We just went back to where we started, but then we had to go through some sort of tunnel. And I'm only showing a little bit of each maze because I don't want to spoil it. You'll have to come out and check it out for yourself. I'm telling you, there is something for everyone out here in Las Vegas for Halloween, for fall, and for the whole month of October. Thanks so much for joining me. Until next time, please subscribe for more in Las Vegas and the surrounding areas, and we will catch you in the next one. Peace.